the world's largest plane just landed in Australia. Which leads us to ask, how did we go from this 600 pound right flyer to a plane with a takeoff weight of over 1 million pounds? The Antonov AM-225. The evolution of the airplane. In 1903, Orville and Wilbur Wright started small, a single-engine, gas-powered glider launched from wooden tracks on Kitty Hawk Beach. The next step was to figure out how to land without crashing. And two years later, the Wright Flyer III became capable of sustained flight, navigation, and most importantly, a safe landing. From there, the birds just got bigger and better. And deadlier. By 1912, airplanes with steel frames were being sold to militaries around the world and equipped with weaponry. And of course, they would go higher, too. In 1913, George Leganin took an aircraft to 20,000 feet, being the first to use an oxygen mask on a flight. And when World War I broke out, aircraft battles were so common, they coined the term dogfight. After helping to win the war, plane manufacturers turned their full attention to commercial airliners. With the first transcontinental non-stop flight occurring in 1923. From Boeing to B-52 bombers, the airplane came to dominate the modern society sky. From toy planes in the hands of kids to stealth jets that elude even the most sophisticated radars. And other aviation-based species evolved like the helicopter, drones, and space shuttles. All of this has happened in just over a century. So what will air travel look like in the next hundred years? Let us know what you think below.